When I started out in life, I was born with a congenital eye disease and they said that I wouldn't be able to obtain anything. I would have had to stay in a special ed realm and I could never acquire the dreams of my life. Um, my mom was my greatest inspiration. She pushed for me. And as I kept going, I kept saying, and saying to myself, yes, you can, yes, you can. You can do all things through Christ that strengthen you. And I kept moving and all the obstacles that kept me down, I just kept moving forward. I didn't allow the abundance of life to keep weighing me down. Graduating from the Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership is Gail B. Brissett. It started back in 1995. I was in a dead in what I called didn't know where, what and how I was going to finish my life. My husband at that time was very ill and um, I knew I had to do something. So it was always impressed upon me to get my degree. I went to Nickel State University in the, uh, January of 1995 and I went cold turkey. I filed amnesty and started my career all over again. I finished in 1998 in, uh, with a BA in elementary education and from there I got my first job coming and give back to the people in St. James Parish where I was educated. I worked in St. James Parish for a minute, uh, five years or so and then afterwards um, I knew that there was more for me to do. I re went back to school, went to Nickel State University again and got my degree in administration and supervision, a master's in 2003. And then I worked a little while as a literacy coach, as I dearly love, kept going. My husband passed away in 2003, but I knew that I had to keep moving. I went on and got a reading specialist and obtained that in 2014. And once I got my, and once I had got, I obtained my uh, degree in 2014, I said to myself, Gail, if you can get this far, you can go all the way. And then the time came, I went on and I enrolled into the doctorate program. And today, 2021, I have obtained my doctorate degree. It was a road, but it was a good road. She inspired me as a parent, as a, she inspired me to pursue my dream. Cause I was like, okay, I can get my bachelor's. And when she told me she was getting a doctorate, I'm like, okay, well, no, I can get my master's. And eventually I can get my doctorate. So she's an inspiration, no matter your age. I see her talk from the kindergartens in an encouraging way to us as adults. But she's, like I said, she's an inspiration. Above all, she's still humble and faithful throughout and always trying to serve others above herself. And my mom was told that she would never be able to give birth to me. So from that point on in life, it was, has always been a struggle. But I did move and I did push forward and I did achieve. So I tell any young child, any adult, anyone who wants to keep on moving, have a vision and allow God to bring it to pass for you. Dr. Gail and to all of her friends and family that is here participating with her at this time, I want you all to know that she is what she is. She is love. She's an inspiration and know that I love you and anything I can do for you, you know I'm here and like I know you're there for me. It was a pleasure to have walked a path with you in life. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being an encouragement. Thank you for being an inspiration. That is Dr. Gale. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter how the story ends or where the story starts or whatever. It's your inner woman or inner man. You just gotta fulfill those dreams. And my mom told me a long time ago, whenever or whatever is birthed inside of you, before you leave this earth, it will come to pass. And I believe that, and that's why, that's why today I strive and I push to help children to see that you can be whatever you want to be. You just have to believe in it. Okay, Gail, I'm so proud of you.
you. You just made my day. And this is, this is a long time coming, but it finally got here. So congratulations, and I love you. Congratulations to Dr. Gail B. Brazil. This has been a journey of a lifetime and I'm so happy to be a part of this celebration as well as everyone who is here and those who are celebrating with you who are not present. You deserve this honor and this journey is one milestone that I know many more things are to come from this. So again, congratulations and I'm happy to be part of your story. Love you. In order to achieve, you have to dedicate yourself to doing what it is that's within your gut to bring it to where it is today. You have to dedicate yourself. Congratulations, Mom, on your, your wide and your final accomplishment of becoming a doctor. Uh, we love you and we wish that you have many, many days uh, teaching people and uh, letting your education flow for you. Congratulations, Mom! You have to stay focused. There's too many distractors. But if you're linked with people who are linked to your dream or to where you want to go, and you stay focused, you're going to get there. my life would be they say I wouldn't make it they say I wouldn't be here today they say I wouldn't amount to anything but I believe and I received I love you I believe in you and if you believe it, you can achieve it.
Oh, I've been criticized. 